The Capture of Emilio Aguinaldo After the famous battle of Tirad Pass with the death of Gregorio del Pilar, Aguinaldo, one of his trusted generals, was captured in Palanan, Isabella on March 23, 1901 by U.S. General Frederick Funston with the help of Macabebe trackers. The American task force gained access to Aguinaldo's camp by pretending to be captured prisoners. He was brought to Malacanang and swore to the American flag on April 1, 1901, formally ending the First Republic and left public life. Despite his captivity, the war continued and the mantle of leadership fell on the remaining Filipino generals. By this time, the war had entered new dimensions. The First Republic The First Republic is the first democratic government in the Asian region. Founded during the congregation in Malolos, Bulacan at Baraswin Church on September 15, 1898. It was presided by Dr. Pedro Paterno. Included 85 participants that approved the independence of the Philippines from the Spanish conquerors. The very first Philippine constitution, which was written by a Filipino lawyer named Felipe Calderon, was also approved during the Malolos Congress on November 29, 1898. On January 29, 1899, General Emilio Aguinaldo proclaimed the first Philippine Republic and Constitution of which he was sworn in as the President of the First Philippine Republic. The First Philippine Republic only lasted for two years. It died when the Americans captured Aguinaldo. The Collapse of the Resistance General Miguel Malvar took over the leadership of the Filipino government or what remained of it and harassed the Americans by his guerrilla tactics. In summer, General Vicente Lucban resorted to um, ambushing American soldiers and withdrawing after killing and wounding them. Angered at this tactic, General Jacob Smith ordered the massacre of all men and children below 10 years, with the result that the province became a howling wilderness. The relentless campaign of the Americans led to the capture of Lukban on February 27, 1902. With the capture of Emilio Aguinaldo, the resistance in summer collapsed. Macario Sakai continued the resistance and even established a Tagalog Republic with headquarters in the Sierra Madre near Manila, but his resistance was not serious enough to endanger the American rule. The capture of Aguinaldo ended an era and at the same time opened another. Behind him, Aguinaldo left the ashes of a past that became embedded in the memory as a fanatical struggle of unenslaved people to win freedom and independence through blood and tears.